We begin with that double murder in Brooklyn, a father and son inside of their apartment. Their downstairs neighbor apparently fed up with the noise going upstairs and cops say then pulling out a gun and killing them both. Well, this happened last night in East Flatbush. That neighbor is now on the run. I would assume reporter Crystal Cranmore speaking to the family of the victims. She's live at the scene for us. Crystal. Bill and Sade, there's been a constant flow of support in and out of this building from local community members, including a state lawmaker. While the hunt continues for the suspect, the family is demanding swift justice. The guy downstairs, he killed my brother, the neighbor. He killed my brother, my dad. The law still doesn't feel real. I think that I'm dreaming. Killing my husband in front of my, in front of my 10 year old. The pools of blood outside Marie DeLille's fourth floor apartment in the Flatbush Gardens complex in East Flatbush. A constant reminder of the horror Sunday night. A gunman opened fire, killing 47-year-old Vladimir Maturin and his 27-year-old son, Shinwei Mood. Last night, I was in the kitchen doing dishes. While I was emptying the sink, I hear bang, 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 bang. Dalil says the downstairs resident was banging on the ceiling, angry about noise allegedly coming from Dalil's apartment around 10.30 p.m. I'd be like, did anybody make noise? The kids be like, no, mommy, nobody make noise. My husband banged back. The man came back, came upstairs, kicked the door. Dalil says an argument escalated before the suspect fired nine rounds at father and son. The family, originally from Haiti, downsized from a larger apartment, an adjustment for her younger children. There's been an ongoing dispute for years about noise. Kids make noise all the time. It doesn't dictate for someone to come up with a firearm. We knocked on the suspect's door. A woman refused to comment. Assemblywoman Monique Chandler Waterman helped the grieving family. My job, I look at, is supporting the whole entire family and the community and providing wraparound services on what's needed. When something like this happened, it traumatized the family. The family now holding on to memories. My son is a good boy. Good boy. My husband is a good guy. He's not violent. My husband have no gun, no weapon. Why would bring a gun to shoot my family? Why bring your gun to tear my family apart? And we're told the husband was a bus driver and Uber driver, just a hardworking man. Uh, the family is also asking for increased security to make it harder for people who are not residents uh, to go inside the building, knowing that the suspect is still on the run. Uh, the assemblywoman says she does plan on speaking with the police uh, to make that happen for them. Again, the search well underway for the suspect.